Hey everyone, I had quite a few requests on my cover of You're On Your Own Going To Do A Tutorial uh, so I'm bringing you that today. Uh, it's fairly straightforward, two main uh, chord progressions and then there's an instrumental which uh, I changed the way I played it since uh, I did the cover so uh, we'll try and talk you through that as well. Um, so I will play the verse and the choruses for you and show you kind of what it's looking like. Um, I'll talk you through the chord, uh, what makes up the chords, uh, the notes within it and then try and play that instrumental, but I keep messing it up, so I'll see what I can do. Um, but we're gonna start on a D. Um, a lot of this is gonna be octaves with your left hand. If you cannot stretch for an octave, go for the lower note, um, the lowest D, and then go up the octave a little bit, uh, up the scale. It just sounds better starting down here, I think, so we're gonna start on a D. go down to an F sharp and then up to a G and then back to that D again so we bring in that B and the C sharp as well and a D uh, back to the D so with your right hand, you're going to play the chords that match the left hand bass. So we're starting on a D major, um, on an A, that shadow is in the wrong place there, um, A, D, F sharp. Uh, I play each note once, like uh, just to establish the new uh, bass note, so we're going to swap from a D to an F sharp minor by literally just moving from the D to the C sharp. play a G, which is B, D, G. Actually, I think it sounds better there. Let's see. to a B minor. Uh, let's play it here to keep it easy. So B, D, F sharp. Friends, anyway. So you play best of friends and then when you sing anyway or play anyway you're going to swap A, C sharp, F sharp and you're going to play C sharp with your left hand and then back to this D. the chorus. The chorus is three no three chords, so we've got a G sus2, so we play the A with the G chord, so. and we're going to play it down here. So left hand is just going to be G, A, D. Oh, sorry, no, it goes back down to B. G, A, B minor, well, B. G, A, D, and then uh, we go back to that B minor, and then we're going to go G, A, D. We're not going to play that B minor the third time. So two times G, A, D, B, G, A, D, B. Uh, and then G, A, D. With your right hand, chords that match um, what we're playing this G sus too, so it's a little bit different, so. G 
sus2, G, A, B, D. Four notes in the chord. Then we're going to move up to an A major, so A, C sharp, E. And then a D major, so back to A, D, F sharp. And then B minor, we're going to swap our thumb from the A to the B. Same thing again. I sing and play at the same time to give you an idea. We're gonna go like this. straight back to a G. This is where there's an instrumental. So you could just play the same chord progression. But I think, uh, I think it goes something like this. I really didn't play that very well. Um, <laughs> we're doing something with these chords. There we go. So play that G chord. Let's move this shadow out of the way. Uh, that way. No, that's not helped. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> not very dynamic today. Play G, B, D, A, D, and then B minor. Ah, there we go. So B and D, and an F sharp, and then swap to the C sharp, C sharp, D, and then same again. Something along those lines. Um, I could have another go and do it properly, uh, but I think that's probably the best I'm going to get out of it. Um, and then we're back into the chorus.
reality. go back down to that G. Yeah, you can face this. Back to that G again. You're on your own, kid. You always have been. So that's literally it. So the only thing that changes is that when you repeat the you can face this. You go straight back to that G. Um, sorry, some of that was a little bit hectic. Um, I've said it was straightforward and I think I lied a little bit. Um, <laughs> so that, yeah, that instrumental, just play the chords if you can't do it, just play the G, A, D, V. Thanks a lot for watching, hopefully this was helpful. Uh, let me know what else you want to hear from uh, Midnight's or if there's any other songs you want to learn and I'll do my best to work them out for you. Uh, see you next time.